Welcome guys and welcome to the gaming channel. And um, I'm going to show off my original Xbox collection. So this will be a pretty good video to show you all. It won't be a pickups video to, um, today. Um, next video will be a pickups video. Then I'll do like a, a shorts video on something. And then um, so forth. And then next collection I'll probably show off my PS4 games probably. Um, and my DS games or something like that. I don't know if I've showed my DS games or not. And my uh, Game Boy games. So I'll show that off on another video. And then I'll show off my um, my um, Blu-ray collection, Blu-ray disc collection. And then, and then um, I'll probably do a Let's Play after that. So. And, um, next pickups video I got, I got a lot of good stuff to show you all, a lot of good finds I found this week to add to the collection, so, um, stay tuned in for that. Uh, if you haven't, go ahead and smack that like button, subscribe, comment down below, and hit that bell notification down below, and let's get into it. The first game I got is Sneakers, which I guess has a mouse in it and stuff, I've never really played it. I don't currently have a, um, original Xbox that actually works. So, um, but I'm still collecting for the console, nevertheless. But I got sneakers, and it has, like, a thing of cheese on it. So, I'd include, I think it would include a mouse in it. Then we got Madden, um, 2005. And then we got Spider-Man, which you go on Spider Adventures, and then you fight, um, bad guys and stuff. Which is pretty cool. You got that, and then you got, um... What's in here? Then you got Batman. Advance. Which is also just like the Spider-Man game, but it's a Batman game. And then we got... In this one, we got... Zathra. Adventure is waiting. So I guess it would be an adventure game. I'm not really for sure on that one. And then we got NBA Live 2004. We got Crash Bandicoot, The Wrath of Cortex, and it's also an adventure game um, where you're doing, like, um, collecting things like those peaches or whatever the heck they are. You're collecting different stuff. You're collecting keys. You're collecting just different things, and then you're interacting with other um, characters in the game and stuff, and then you're doing, like, missions for them and stuff, and then you're going, like, trying to jump these obstacles and stuff it's really really fun and then we got rlh hunt or to be hunted which is like a spy hunting game i guess it's not really a spy hunting game but it has like animals and creatures in it and i guess you're hunting down animals and stuff and these really weird creatures and then you got ncaa football 2005 and then we got True Crime Streets of L.A. This is like your version of Grand Theft Auto. Um, so yeah, it, it's like almost like Grand Theft Auto. And then we got Doom 3 Limited Collector's Edition, which the 10 is kind of messed up, kind of dented, but nevertheless, it's a pretty good game, I guess. And then we got Harry Potter, The Prisoner of Azkaban. Which is also like an adventure quest game. And then you got Splinter Cells. Tom Clancy's Stealth Action Redefined. Um, basically you're just like. It's almost like a. um, What's it called? Not a, it, it is like an action game. A shooting game. Um, you're practically. Um. A spy in this game. And then we got the Orbs Sims in the City. So it's just like, it's the version of Sims. And you practically get to make your character and, and then um, give it a life. And then give it a name. And then, like, you could do, like, dances. You could have, like, pets. You can have, um, do, like, competitions and stuff. It's pretty cool. Then we got, um... All-Star Baseball 2004, 
Then we got All Star Baseball 2003. Then we got um, Forza Forza Motorsport One, which is a really cool game. Um, practically, you depict like what your car is, and you get to unlock different cars and stuff. And um, it's pretty cool. It's just a racing game, practically street racing. And then we got Harry Potter and the Goblet of Fire. Which practically you're just, um, it's an adventure game. And then we got NFL 2003 Fever. And then we got The Legend of Spyro, A New Beginning. Which is the original Spyro. Which you just Spyro is like a puzzle quest um, adventure game, and then we got America's Army Rise of the Soldiers. It's kind of like a, a first person shooter or a third person shooter um, shooting game. It's kind of like Call of Duty, and then we got NASCAR Thunder two thousand two, and then we got. Ultimate Spider-Man. So we get to like. Um, fight criminals. And bad guys and stuff. And then we got X-Men Legends. Which also you're. Um, fighting bad guys. And you got like all these. Um, superpowers and stuff. And stuff like that. And you get also get to pick your background. Like where you want to play. Or where you want to fight at. Then we got Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic. So, um, Star Wars, you got to fight in a galactic, um, fight. And then you got to, like, um, get your sword out and f fight against these bad guys. And then we got Spider-Man again in Platinum. Then we got Burnout, which is actually a really good series. You do like, you could do races, and then you also get timed. Like, you also get timed for based on how fast you, um, complete, um, a challenge or whatever. You complete the course. Like, you'll be timed and stuff, which is pretty cool. And then we got Shrek, which is also, like, a um, adventure uh, 2D platformer game. And then we got Scooby Doo Knights of 100 Frights. Um, which are also doing an adventure. You're going on an adventure doing stuff. Then we got Tiger Woods PGA Tour 06. Then we got Fusion Frenzy Non Stop Party Game Action. Which I guess you'd be in like these cube balls. Not cube balls, but. These, like, round ball things. And then you go, like, down these, like, arcade-looking, like, tracks or whatever. And it's really, really weird. Really weird game. And then we got Take Two, Tack Two, The Staff of Dreams. And this is based off of a Nickelodeon cartoon that was on back in the day. Um, so, yeah. Um... I forgot to add this to my Nickelodeon collection of stuff that I showed in another video. I forgot to add that. But so far, that's all the uh, games I have for this video. So that's a lot of games. I don't know how many is there, but that's actually a lot of games right there. For It's a good start for a collection for a console that I don't even own or don't even have that works. So it's a good pretty start to the collection. And I'll probably add more to it in the future. So stay tuned in for that. Stay tuned in for all the other upcoming videos. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.